We're in the lab today doing a little bit of maintenance work on our Eaton Blade Up systems. The two battery units over my shoulder here are fundamental to keeping our lab online. Anytime we've got a minor power blip or a more serious power outage due to weather or accidents or anything along those lines, these two units keep our lab going or at least let us shut down in a graceful manner. While checking on the batteries and doing routine health updates, Kevin noticed that they were both actually throwing a little red warning, which we'll show you. And while the batteries aren't in a failed condition yet, they'll still work in the event of a power loss. At least one of them in each unit is starting to throw errors and failing the health checks, which means it's time to replace them. I had to ask Kevin about how old these batteries are, and he had to go way back in the archives to find out. These batteries are almost eight years old. They were put into service in June of 2015. An eight-year run is really quite strong, but either way, they've got to be replaced and recycled. Eaton went ahead and sent us eight of these heavy monsters to swap out the old ones, drop these guys in, and get us back to optimal battery conditions. Okay, so when replacing the batteries, we don't actually have to turn the unit off. What needs to happen is we need to put it into bypass mode, which will leave power on, but take it out of the loop. Once we're in bypass mode, what we've got to do is kill the breakers to the batteries. Kevin's going to get both of our units here. And now we're ready to make the battery swap. With that complete, we're ready to pull off the bezel here and then disconnect the cable connecting that. And from here, we'll take the screws out that get, gives us access to the four battery packs inside. Removing the batteries is really simple. They've got a little plastic flap that acts as a handle to be able to grip these. Kevin's pulling all four of the batteries out and then we'll take those over to recycling. If you could see as we uh, take a look at the front edge of this, it does show a manufacture date of March 2015. So as I said, these have been in service for quite a long time. We've had a wonderful use out of this set of batteries. So at this point, we're pretty much done with the extraction. So now Kevin's going to reload the battery packs. They really just push in nice and simple, kind of click into place. You can see there's a couple guardrails there for the plastic forms to help keep it on the correct track as it slots in. The actual swap process itself takes just a few minutes. Really no big deal to do this. All right, our batteries are in. We'll put the screw plate cover back on and undo our steps we've done to get here and bring this bad boy back online. Okay, so you can see we've got our battery reconnected. We're getting voltage. We're going to take it out of bypass mode now. Light is green, track is clean. Green light, we're good to go. Batteries are working as expected and we should be all set. We were able to swap out the eight battery units in about 10, 15 minutes, do the whole process, and that's with no help from these guys. And during the process, we were able to keep the units powered on. And while they weren't providing power protection in that case, it did let us keep all of our racks up and running, supplying power to all of those units. So overall, we got eight years out of the last set of batteries. We're hoping to get eight years of more out of this set. And for such an easy and simple swap out replacement, it's no big deal. And it's nice to know that in our lab, Eaton's got our back so that you don't have to juggle your IT duties more than you have to.